guys and welcome back to my monthly favorites. I know that I haven't posted a video in a month. I actually think the last video I posted was my June favorites. Um, but that's because I haven't actually been home for most of July. I was on vacation and I got pretty tanned on vacation. I don't really have a foundation that matches like my arms, but it kind of matches my chest. So hopefully the coloring is not too off. It looks better in real life, but I am noticing in camera that my face looks really pale compared to like my arms. Anyway, so yeah, I've been away for most of July. I haven't had a chance to film a video. I did have some videos done that I pre-recorded, but then I didn't get around to editing them. So that's why they didn't come up in July. But hopefully I will be able to get them edited and put them up in August. I also do not have a lot of favorites to share with you this month. I don't know why I feel like my favorites are going down and down and I'm having less and less every month, but yeah. Oh, by the way, I got a new phone! Samsung A5. I kind of just upgraded my current phone and I got this one for like zero dollars or whatever if I have a contract. So this is my new phone. It's kind of weird. It's, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Okay, so my first favorite is this brush. This is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Mine's really dirty because I've been using it like so much lately. It's got all this like gunk in it. I definitely need to clean it today. Anyway, this is the e.l.f. Concealer Brush and it's from their like studio line. I use this one to blend in my concealer under my eyes as well as um, any like spot concealing that I do throughout my face. And I've been using this one for about two months now. Um, I've had this brush for a really long time, probably like over a year maybe even two years, I don't know, oh, definitely over a year, and I used to use it a lot, and then for some reason, I stopped using it, I don't know why, I guess I started using like different um, brushes to blend in my concealer, but then I recently, like about two months ago, I started using this again, and I have no idea why I ever stopped, this is like the best brush to just blend in concealer anywhere on your face, underneath your eyes, on any sort of blemishes you might have, this brush works so well, and I think it was like $3, maybe $4 in Canada, I'm not sure. Wow, I just realized, like, I look so discolored. Why does my face look so pale? It does. Yeah, so this is just a really good brush. I've been using it pretty much every day. I don't blend in, like, concealer on my blemishes with my fingers anymore. I did that for a really long time, but then I've just been using this brush to do it, and I don't know, I like it a lot better than using my fingers for some reason. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a brush to blend in under eye concealer or to blend in concealer throughout your face, get this guy. It's super good. And then my next favorite is this foundation. This is the Revlon, oh my god, oh, Revlon Whipped Creme Makeup. This is the Revlon Blush Stay Whipped Foundation. It comes in this glass jar and it's got the product inside it like this. I bought this a long time ago, but the color I bought, this is the color 320 Warm Golden, was way too dark for me at the time I bought it. I think I bought it in winter, so I couldn't use it, but fortunately now it's too pale for me. This is like the first whipped formula that I've ever tried. I do have the Revlon Color Stay like in the liquid form, but I never tried the whip one before, and I, I like it. I really, really like it. It's pretty easy to blend in with your fingers. Uh, if you're in a rush, you can just put it and blend it in with your fingers. I've been using it with a sponge, like the Real Techniques, the orangey sponge. I've been using that to blend this in. I've also used a buffing brush, just a regular buffing brush that I use for my liquid foundations, and it works as well. It's just a really good formula. It's sort of like a satin finish. It's not very dewy, but it's also not extremely matte. And it just sits really nicely on your skin, especially if you have like combination or normal skin. I think this would work really well for you. I have a lot of dry patches around my face, but I also get super oily in like my T-zone area, especially in summer when I'm like sweating. So I find that this works really well. It doesn't cling to my dry patches. Like doesn't cling to any of the ones on like my forehead or like by my like jawline here. It doesn't cling to any of those. But I think it's like ideal for combination skin. It is kind of expensive, so I bought it on sale. But yeah, I just really like it. It's uh, I have nothing really bad to say about this foundation. It's just a really awesome foundation. My next favorite is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. 
I've had this for a long time. This was actually the first, not this tube in particular, but this was the first concealer I ever tried. I used to use it all the time for blemishes, everywhere on my face I would use this pretty much. But then I stopped using it because I discovered the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer, which I actually like better because it has a little bit better coverage for blemishes and stuff. But I still had this one in my collection and I realized um, it's probably getting old and I better use it up. So I took it out recently and I started using this and I cannot put this guy down anymore. It comes with this doe foot applicator and I use it just underneath my eyes. I don't use it anywhere else just underneath my eyes. I still use my Master Conceal on my blemishes, but this is the one I use for covering my dark circles. And I really like it because it's very moisturizing, like it's sort of a more dewy concealer. So it's really nice if you have sort of like dry or under eyes, or if you just want them to be a little bit brighter or more dewy. And it does have pretty decent coverage. My dark circles aren't actually that bad, and I don't really have that dry under eye problem. But I still really like this, and so I've been using this under my eyes for pretty much all of June and July, and I just really like it. So if you have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in your stash and you haven't used it in a while, I highly recommend you start using it again because it is really good. And I think I want to keep purchasing it just to put for, just to cover up dark circle, circles because I really like it for that. I feel like maybe if I put more bronzer on my face, I would match my body more but anyway so the next product I have is a recent purchase of mine this is the elf contouring palette it's one of their four pan palettes which just purchased this probably about I think about three weeks ago and I've been using it non-stop this is what I have on my face today I have every shade except for this bronzer shade right now because it's a little too light for me so it doesn't show up as pigmented on my skin. I love this palette. This is like the last palette I think I'll buy from e.l.f. that comes with four because I already have their blush palette and I have their illuminating palette and I loved those so that's why I really wanted to get this one to test it out and it is amazing. All of these powders are super easy to blend. They're very pigmented. They feel super smooth and like soft. They are a little bit powdery but it's nothing too like it's not such a big deal for me at least this contouring shade is like the perfect undertone to contour your cheeks I, I used it today to contour underneath my cheekbones this bronzer is really nice as well but like I said it's kind of pale for me right now so I haven't been using it that much I used this powder right here it's more of like a peachy yellowy uh, powder it's matte all of these are matte by the way except for this shimmery shade right here I used this one underneath my eyes to set my under eye concealer and then I use this one to highlight my cheekbones today. I don't know if you can tell. It's just a really awesome contouring palette from the drugstore. It's probably the best contouring palette from the drugstore, I think. Probably. All these individual pans like pop out and you can like interchange them with your blush palette or your illuminating palette, which I've been doing. It's been really convenient to travel with this guy because I usually replace this one and this one with like two blush shades and then I have a full face palette and it's really awesome. Since I've been going on vacation and stuff this month, this is what I've been using and I really like being able to pop these guys out. I hope that e.l.f. starts selling these as individual pans in case I run out because I can imagine I'll run out of the contouring shade pretty fast. I highly recommend this if you can grab it because it is, oops, ah, oh, I dug my finger right into the highlight shade. Pick it up if you can and you're looking for a good contouring palette from the drugstore. Okay, so the next product I have is a bronzer. Because I can't use the bronzer in this palette because it's too light for me, I have to go for a darker bronzer. And the one I've been really liking is this NYX Matte Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Dark Tan. I like this bronzer because it's matte and I've been going for more like luminous blushes and I'm going for a lot of highlight recently. So I like having a matte bronzer underneath that just to make sure everything's balanced and this one is just the perfect tone for me right now because it is dark enough to show up on my skin. It's a really nice formula because it's super soft, super buttery actually, it's really really buttery and it just blends really nicely onto your skin. I don't have anything bad to say about this bronzer, I really like it. I've been using this one pretty much every day especially now that I'm so dark and I need to <laughs> darken up my face. This is what I've been using to do that. Super nice and super good quality for the drugstore actually. It's probably one of the best quality 
bronzers I've tried so far. It is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like 11 bucks at London Drugs, but yeah, still good. Really like it. Okay, and the last product I have for you is, oh, I don't have any lip products. I just realized I don't have any lip products to share with you this month, and I always have lip products. Oh well, anyways, this is my last product. This is the Bella Pierre Makeup Base. I have no idea where you can purchase this one. I got it as a gift in like a little Bella Pierre set. It came with like a bronzer and a highlighter and a face powder, but I gave all of those away to my sisters and I only kept this because I think this is amazing. This is their, it just says makeup base on the back, but I use this only for my eyelids and I cannot use eyeshadow anymore without putting this makeup base on first. I'm really upset because I don't know where you can buy it except off the Bella Pierre website. I think maybe it's in Winners, but I don't think you can purchase it individually as just the makeup base, which is really, really concerning for me because I'm so scared that I'm going to run out because I keep using it. I can't apply eyeshadow anymore without using this first if I'm applying a shimmery eyeshadow. Like pretty much any shimmery shadows from the drugstore that I've tried need to have this base under it now because they just show up way more pigmented and way more bright and way more intense when you have this base underneath. It doesn't make your eyeshadows patchy or anything when you apply them on top. It also really helps them last like for an entire day without creasing or anything. So I have I highly recommend this Bella Pierre makeup base if you can find it. I really wish I knew where you could purchase this because I want to get some more. And I think it's a really awesome eyeshadow, primer, base, whatever. And yeah, I really like it. So those are my favorites this month. It was, I felt like it wasn't uh, very exciting, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I promise I will have some more videos up soon because I've been really slacking with my uploads. So I guess I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.